Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about Vital Tantra and uh, the topic for this video is more directed towards the vital mind or mind optimization techniques. You know, this is one of the five main branches of the, the Vital Tantra system and I'm going to give you some tips today on how to tune into your future. You've got your past, you've got your present, and you've got your future, right, in the timeline. And very often what tends to happen is that we are stuck into the past a lot. Whether it's trapped into past emotions, undigested um, traumas and past memories and things that are still very much present in your field and that you don't really know how to let go of. So what tends to happen when you're trapped into your past is that you are not really present in the, in the moment right here, right now, and it's hard to launch new projects or new revealing aspects of your life because you are still very much focused or polarized on the past experiences. So you heard about the power of being in the now, right? This is probably something that you are familiar, uh, familiar already with, and it's the idea that when you focus in the present moment, it's just bringing energy to the right here and right now. So what I'm going to suggest today is that you start focusing as well on your future rather than on your past. So there, is a few, there are a few ways of doing that, and uh, one of them is to get rid of past memories. Many years ago, I was living in Switzerland, and I got rid of 95% of what I owned. Books, letters, pictures, I just went to the mountains and burned everything. And what this created, <laughs> you know, was massive because there was suddenly all this space and all this freedom. It's like having a white canvas on which you can start painting your life. So if you identify yourself with past experiences, with what you used to do when you went to school, where did you go to college and the kind of people you used to hang out with, this is where your memories are going to be. Whereas if you open yourself into the future by creating space, you are going to suddenly generate a lot of new, fresh energy coming into your system. And you can really consciously start designing your life. This is what we are talking about. You are the designer of your life. And the goal here is to be able to expand into consciously designing what's going to happen next in your existence. So to do that, again, you know, get rid of past memories, create emotional freedom, uh, a whole video on that one coming soon, and uh, finish unfinished business. You know, if you have things that are still unsolved with people in your past, or you know, you're in debt, or things that are holding you back from really looking to your future, you have to get rid of that first, and then create space towards, uh, towards your future. I hope this makes sense. I'll be back soon with another video.